Hello, this is the full review of the Super VIP car. This is the exterior of the car. This is the body kit. Upgrade wheel. The map wheel is for the latest model. The side bumper with the black finish. The rear skirting upgraded with the reverse sensor. Four point reverse sensor and the reverse camera here. The Toyota logo paint in matte black. And the spoiler with the brake light. It's all around body kit. This one also have a daytime running light. This one can be open and closed manually. With the switch. Once I turn off the, the switch, and the light is gone. This one also upgrade the headlamp with the LED bulb. Very bright and white color. Also the park lamp also LED. Even the fog lamp is LED. So after at the night time everything will be white color. I show you. It's all in white color. And this is the driver cockpit. It's the driver door or cover with the wooden finish. Steering wheel is also wooden finish to match the dashboard. For this one, especially for this one, uh, the dashboard is both on the top and the bottom or in wooden finish. The driver seats come in a really slim design so you have a place to go back and forward up over the driver head you have three switch here this one is very important this one need to be open at most of the time that you use the car otherwise electric at the back doesn't work so you can turn off these two with no problem but this one need to be turned on so now everything is turned on so the light and the seat is working but since I turn off everything will be closed as well okay so I gonna leave this one on so after I leave this one on I will be able to use the electric window This one can be operated on both sides. Just before I go to the, the passenger cabin, this is where, you where your driver can open the door for you. And if you don't use the car for a long time, this is going to drain out your battery, right? Your battery life. So I have this one just under your steering wheels. This one is to turn power power door off. So when you press, the power door will not be working anymore. 
stick. So I am going to turn it back on just for the moment. So now the automatic door works manually as well. I can use my hand. Also open it. And even on the inside, I can use both whether the handle or the switch. Both is working. Once you open in the middle way, it will automatically reverse. Okay. And now we are coming in the, to the passenger seat side. To open and close the window, we need to use operate this switch, the round, the rounded up and down. So just before we doing anything else, this is the lighting switch. This is the electrical switch. So I'm going to turn off everything first. Okay. So if everything is turned off, this will not be operating. Even the TV is not operating. So the first switch is going to need to open first is this one. So now we are able to do the window glass and the TV okay the TV will automatically turn on and off when the TV is go up and down so everything will be follow the switch okay so the Apple TV will automatically open but if you are going to use anything else that go with the HDMI in this car we have two access point of the HDMI one is here alongside with the switch and another one inside the drawers so this one just in case you have any extra player you can use the power socket here with the HDMI now the, the power socket is this one you will see one of the beep sounds so this one we have uh, to turn on all this power socket along the car and also the phone the phone will be charging and the phone you have a two-way phone so one of the phone is with the driver and one of the phone is here so you need to open this one first but since this phone is wirelessly used so you can be able to use if the battery is charged fully enough you'll be able to use without open this one but the rest of the power will not be open if you not turn on this one okay so this one is to use the the intercom phone i was going to use with the english first okay, i will skip this one first okay so you when you do an in intercom call you press menu and the int is the intercom and you press ok again okay so this is how you use the intercom it's both is uh it's doing the same in both way so you use you do everything the same in this one and the other one will call this one back okay I'm going to turn off the TV first for the moment and now the second switch is for the seat ah, sorry is for the sound system now the sound system is coming on so with the sound system you can uh, I will turn on to the English version I'll turn on the 
English so it's easier for you to use okay so this one working normally just the player so you have the radio that's working the disc you can use with this top line you can put in the disc and the Bluetooth audio that to connect with your phone and the AV AV is where you use all the HDMI input from the TV every sound that came from TV will go to AV will go to AV itself so you need to so everything you play with the TV on the Apple TV or the HDMI on this player you need to open AV this one okay I will show you in a minute and this and this one is for the foot lighting the pillars lighting and the foot lighting so you have to see okay and this one is the rest of the lighting so this all four is lighting Oh, sorry the foot lighting is this one and this one is all the roof lighting this three okay now the electric seats The electric seats if you want to use only the seats and the system only and you don't want to use any light I recommend you open only this one so this one will enable you to use the electric seats okay. this one moving forward backward the backrest going back and the backrest coming up and if you tilt it the bottom up, we will raise up the the rake support. And this console you can use as the leg support also with the seat belt for your baby seats. Okay. So these seats are rotatable. The rotation is on the other side. So the rotation lever is here, and the puller. Sorry, it's a, it's a little bit harder to see, but the puller is underneath. And the puller lever is here. So if I'm going to show you the location of the of the seat, who are the lever, and you can now rotate it, the seat. So if it gets stuck to anywhere else, so I need to pull the lever seat forward a little bit. Now it's free to move. Okay. And massaging seat is here. The auto is on. The full. And the step. And all. Okay, so now the seat is turning backward. So it's working the same on both seats. That one also be rotatable.
The second row seat also be slidable as well with this lever. This one also have. Plenty of room to move. Even the back row also can be moved. Pull this one down and you can slide. Sorry, I'm one handed, so. Oh. Okay. I think I haven't moved the, the second row seat. But yeah, yeah, it will be able to move a lot forward if you need to use the, the like a space. Okay, come back to the outside. The suspension is already upgraded with the Iron Man suspension system, both back and front. Thank you for watching, and this one is ready to go to your customer. Thank you so much for your choosing us. Have a good day.